Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about something that popped up on my feed while I was scrolling on TikTok. And I honestly can't believe it, but I can't believe it at the same time. It's the Mary Jane by arm scammer scandal that is constantly going on right now. The first video I watched about this situation happened a month ago, but videos keep coming out of victims who have been scammed by her every single day. Like, it's crazy. I want you guys to take a look at the TikTok that popped up on my For You page. For those of you who aren't familiar with Mary Jane, she's a black YouTuber from Jersey and her popularity mainly came from her videos about living in China and what her life was like over there. So eventually, her audience wanted to know how is she able to afford living in China and overall traveling the world solo. So Mary Jane decided to profit off of this and host quote-unquote trips for her followers to go on her with. And this is where things start to get messy, but first I want to talk about the white lies and then I'll get into the bigger things. First, Mary Jane makes a lot of YouTube videos about how she grew her hair long and what products she uses. And it's funny because somebody pointed out that <laughs> she wears a wig. And if you zoom in on this picture, you can clearly see there's a wig cap on her head. Let me get this straight, there's nothing wrong with wearing wigs cause I'm a weave girl myself, but the only problem is that she claims these wigs as her natural hair and she's telling people to buy all these fancy organic products because her hair grew down to the middle of her back, yet it's not hers. The next thing that a lot of people have noticed, including myself, is the constant photoshopping of her Instagram pics. When I searched her name on the Instagram hashtag, this page popped up and it shows on the left her heavily photoshopped versus on the right not photoshopped at all. And if you go on her YouTube channel, she makes a what I eat in a day video because everyone keeps asking her how are you getting so thick and she's just saying that it's natural and the weight is just somehow going to the right places. Well, it's really not because she's editing herself, clearly. But anyways, the major thing I want to talk about is a scamming because every other day there's a new video on YouTube of a different girl who has been scammed by Mary Jane. So I did my research and I watched almost every video of each girl who's been scammed by her and everyone has been saying the exact same thing. Be aware this all happened at different timelines. All of this started because Mary Jane posted on her Instagram that she's going to take a trip to Dubai, Egypt, wherever, and she's going to host it and just take a handful of girls with her. So she tells people to sign up while you can. And in order to secure your spot on the trip, she asks for a $2,000 deposit on Cash App, which is crazy because I myself would feel so uncomfortable sending a large amount of money to somebody I don't know. Like, why not do it in small increments? Why that large amount? As soon as these girls would send Mary Jane the money, she'd start slacking on communication. They'd ask her about the trip, what's the itinerary, what hotel are they staying at, and she'd barely respond to them. For example, this girl on the screen that I'm showing you guys right now had sent Mary Jane about $2,000 in order to go on a Dubai trip with her. Right after she sent the money, Mary Jane stopped responding. She would respond like once every couple weeks, yet she was always on Instagram posting. And this girl probably wouldn't have been able to go on the Dubai trip with Mary Jane if she didn't keep pressing her almost every single day about what's the itinerary, where are we staying, why did you change the hotel, who's going to pick me up from the airport. Like She was persistent about getting her money's worth out of this trip. Even though it was a hassle trying to reach out to Mary Jane and see what was up with the trip, she eventually was able to travel with her and a couple other girls. But even on the Dubai trip, Mary Jane had her headphones in a lot and a lot of the girls said she was very standoffish towards them. And she also wanted to make all these last minute changes, which is what happened to another girl and they really got into it. 
But honestly, that girl was one of the lucky ones who was able to go on a trip with Mary Jane because some of the girls who gave her the $2,000 deposit were basically left on red after that. They were scammed. After Mary Jane got exposed by lots of young women who she scammed, she decided to go on her YouTube page and post a video of her listening to a speech about being a victim and how victims are always misunderstood and misjudged. What's really interesting about this pity party video is the fact that she disabled most of her comments. The only comments she left up there are three positive comments. But if you look at the number of dislikes, you can see that this video doesn't mean anything at all because she still needs to come out with an apology or something. And at the end of the video, Mary Jane said that not everything needs to be addressed. Actually, everything does need to be addressed because one of the girls who she scammed is getting lawyers involved. And I know Mary Jane said that she wants to stay under the radar for a while and just take time for herself. But what she needs to understand is you can't run from the law forever. It's going to catch up with you and it's coming to her very soon. This situation is really crazy and it just shows that not every flashy social media influencer is made to be an entrepreneur. Be careful who you give your money to, guys. Like, it's getting really crazy out here. But once again, we made it to the end of the video. I really want to see how you guys feel about the situation. So please drop your opinions in the comments. Like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn your notifications on. 